Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video on my Neverfull GM. I wanted to do a two year update on it. Um, I took a poll on my Instagram um, of a few videos that I was gonna do and this is the one that won. So I am gonna do all of those other videos um, eventually but this is the one that I decided to film today. So this is my Neverfull GM. It is the largest size that they make in Neverfulls um, and it's in the Damier Abin print. So like I said, I've had this bag for two years now, and since I've gotten this bag, this has pretty much been one of my everyday bags. Um, when I eventually ended up getting my Speedy 30, I kind of switched these two out back and forth, but I was still using this on a weekly basis. I absolutely love this bag. I think that it's so cute. I love how big it is. Um, I know that that's a problem for a lot of people. A lot of people like the MM size, which is the middle size. I do have an MM as well in the monogram print, but I am always finding that this is the one that I'm rejig for. I kind of use this, um, in like a super casual look so if i'm wearing like a really casual outfit i use my gm just because it's super floppy and uh big and i think it just gives like a really casual vibe to the whole outfit and if i didn't say it i'm only 5'1 so i don't think it matters how big it is with your height i know a lot of people say like that for shorter um people it's too big I don't think that at all. I think that it just kind of gives a different vibe than the PM and then the MM do um, just because it's a lot less structured. Not that either of those are structured. I don't have the PM so I can't really speak on it but I wouldn't consider the MM structured. Um, I think that it's just a little bit more structured than the GM. The GM kind of flops all over the place. As you guys can see right now like it's kind of just flopping into itself and I think it looks really really cute with a casual outfit. And it's really versatile too. It's great for travel. You can use it um, if you for work, if you have to bring a lot of stuff. I think it's a great size. Um, but when I do carry it every day, I usually cinch the sides in. So it, I'll do that so you guys can see. All right, so this is what it looks like when I carry it on a daily basis. It's more of like a square shape. It's just a little smaller that way and easier to bring around with you. Um, but I do sometimes carry it um, open, like if I have to carry a lot of stuff, like, or if I'm just kind of going for like a super casual vibe, um, I'll carry it with it open. And it gives it kind of just like a really relaxed vibe. So why I got this bag in the Damier Bean print um, in the first place is because like I said, I do have a Neverfull MM and that bag um, is in monogram. So it has the Vaquetta leather and mine has patinaed so much. I have a whole video on that. I'm not going to go into that. I have like a six year review on that bag, uh, but you can see how it looks after time. Um, but this one, I knew with the treated leather straps, um, it wasn't going to look like that. It was always going to look pretty new and it was going to be a lot more carefree. So that is why I got the Abin, and I do love the Abin print. I think that it goes with a lot. I love how it looks. It's so cute. So going into the details of how this is worn, the first thing that I really noticed about this bag is the straps. So as you guys can see, they have a really, like, they have a lot of creases in them. Just from the bag being weighed down, from the straps moving around, they have a lot of creases. So that side... This side, this side, and that side. So that is what the top straps look like. Um, they're definitely kind of pointed at the top, just from me, them being on my shoulder. They've kind of formed to the shape of my shoulder, as all the leather does. Um, all the Louis Vuitton leather it forms to your shoulder. Um, but this one is pretty noticeable just because it does have that cracking in there. And I wouldn't say it's like full out cracking. It's just kind of creasing. So you can see kind of at the top there, it's all over the straps. When you look at the leather around the top, that has a lot of creasing as well. So, I mean, you guys can see in here, it has a ton all around. It's creased. And that happens with age. That happens from loading up the bag, just it being formed in certain ways. I know a lot of people say stuff about the leather possibly cracking on the side um, if you cinch it a lot. I haven't really had experience with that, but what I have had experience with is it, it lifts a little bit right here. So like you can see that's kind of lifting up a little bit. There's some scratches. Those are scratches, they're not cracks. Scratch over here. If you look at these, these look pretty good, these little cinchers. Um, 
so you guys can see that. They look pretty, pretty good. And this side has the same thing going on with the um, leather lifting up right here. It's right where it's sewn together on both sides. The pieces go all the way around. So on this side, it's stitched to this back piece and the front piece are stitched together right here. And I just showed you that that was lifting. And then this side as well, it's lifting. Other than that, I think it looks really good. From afar, I think it looks great. I don't really think you guys can really tell um, that it's it's age. It doesn't look super old. Um, I think that all a bean bags look pretty new um, just because of the leather. You can't really see from afar. You can't really see any aging in the leather. It's kind of just the creasing that happens. Um, and then I do have a couple scratches on it just from use. The canvas I think looks great. I do have a couple scratches on the canvas as well, like a little one right here. The corners do look a little worn. See, there's a little bit worn out right there. This side. That's what the bottom looks like. So altogether, I think the most wear is definitely on the straps and uh, the leather at the top. You can definitely see a lot of creasing in that. Um, I think that some of it definitely might come from how I cinch it all the time, um, just because it is moving this back and forth a lot. And then um, the lifting of the leather right here, I'm not really sure what that's from. It wouldn't totally make sense for it to be from the cinching, just because this is kind of what's folded when you cinch it. So I think that just might be something that happens with time, um, no matter how you wear the bag, just because um, it is, that is the point where um, it's stitched together. So this is what the inside looks like. I do have an organizer in this bag. I have a whole video on my organizer. It's from Amazon. Um, I think it's great. Um, and then let me take this out so you guys can see what it looks like without the organizer. I didn't use this bag for um, with an organizer for the longest time, so it is a little dirty on the inside still. If you use an organizer from the start, it'll protect it a lot more than mine is just because um, nothing will be touching that, but um, I think it looks pretty good. And there's a couple stains on it, but that's just from me keeping stuff in there and some dirt. But other than that, it looks really good on the inside. It's just one big pocket and there's a little pocket right here. Looks the leather on here looks pretty good to me. I don't really use this pocket too much, but that's super smooth. No cracking or anything, no creasing. Mine is made in the USA. Um, if that makes a difference to anybody, I know a lot of people wanna know where the bags are made. Mine is made in the US. So the first shots that I showed you guys was what it looked like with the organizer in it. This is what it looks like without. It's a lot more flimsy if you throw your stuff in it. The bag, um, the bottom kind of sags a little bit. Um, I like it both ways. I do usually like it um, just kind of flimsy and floppy just because I do like that a lot about the bag. Um, but I keep the organizer in there just because, like I said, when I carry it every day, I carry it with the side cinched in a lot. And I like how that um, stops the bag from totally caving in. Because if you cinch the sides without the organizer, it kind of caves in like that a little bit like a triangle. And I like it to stay more in a square shape. But I did actually have a question on my bag organizer video about using a smaller organizer in this bag just um, to see what it looks like um, to kind of keep the relaxed shape. And I think that that's a good idea. So I'm going to try that out here just so um, I can see and um, the person who asked me can see as well. So this is what it looks like. I put my Speedy 30 organizer in there. It still has like the look of the bag without an organizer at all. But when you look inside, it's in there and there's a lot of space on each side. I mean, the bag organizer does flop around in there a lot um, just because it's not too fitted, but um, I mean, it, it's not going to flip over or anything, so it'll definitely hold your stuff. So uh, if you do want the bag to look pretty relaxed, um, I think the Speedy 30 organizer is a great size as well. Um, you might be able to go up one size too and still keep this look. I think that um, maybe if you use like a Neverfull MM organizer, I think that that might work for that look as well too. I'm going to put my GM organizer back inside though and then um, show you guys what's in my bag. The first thing I have in here is my wallet. So this is my Michael Kors wallet. It's just the Jet Set wallet. Um, I've had this wallet 
for years and I love it. It holds so much. It has so many card slots. Um, it holds cash and it opens um, really nicely. It opens so you can see the whole thing. And I just keep like gift cards and store cards and cash in here. Um, not like my debit card and my license, not stuff that I would need every day, but stuff that if I have a bigger bag to bring a lot of stuff, I can bring this with me. And the next thing is my key pouch. So this is my Louis Vuitton clay. I've had this for literally like seven years. Um, it is fading a little bit, but it's still holding up pretty good. Um, this, I just keep my keys in and I keep my license and my debit card. So if I just want to take one thing, this is all that I have to take. Then I just have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull pochette. So this is the one that comes with the bag. Um, there is a hook to hook it onto the inside of the bag, but I just keep it um, hooked together as a wristlet. Um, just so if I only want to take this, it's easy. I can just take it out of my bag and throw my phone in here and my key pouch and then I'm good to go because everything else I need is already in here. I just have a bottle of hand sanitizer. Then I have a chapstick. And I have a lip gloss that I wear all the time. This is Spite by MAC. Then I have my lipstick that I'm wearing. Um, this is the one I'm wearing right now. Um, it's Brave by MAC. And then I have my lip liner that I wear all the time. This is Morning Coffee by MAC. And this one has a pocket, a big pocket, and then a little side pocket. And in the little side pocket, I just keep some hair ties, um, some band-aids, and then the little card that came with the um, bag. And then I usually keep my sunglasses in here as well, but they are not in here right now. All this stuff is just stuff that I would basically carry um, every day. Um, that's just like my everyday essentials, but what this bag is huge. So if you want to throw anything else in there, like if I want to take it to work, I'd carry like some papers and my laptop. It's really versatile. Um, just, I don't think it's too big for every day, obviously, because I use it every day and I think that it holds up really, really well. Using this as my everyday bag for two years and from far away, I think it still looks brand new. I know there's a couple issues with the straps. Um, and some scratches but other than that i think it looks great and i think it's going to look great um for years to come so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye